This is an example on how to use the rock band instruments to trigger sounds from your PC. In this case we'll be using SMT as our sample software, which allows the use of both guitars and drums. But first the drums. There were three rows of drums selectable from the D-pad. set of 808 sounds. If you're lucky enough to have two sets of drum kits, you can play them at the same time and select one set to toms and the second set to standard drums. The same software can also play bass. Notice the pattern here. The notes have been purposely chosen so they fit easily on the fingers. Again, you have full control of the sound with the D-pad. If you're lucky enough to have two guitars, you can play lead at the same time as bass and drums. Again, you have separate sounds with the D-pad. chosen in the same way as the bass guitar to determine the chord. In this case we apply some additional logic. For C, F and G, we pick major chords because they're more often played, whereas for D, D and A, we'll pick minor chords. For the solos, we use the secondary set of buttons here to play individual notes. You can also switch the entire guitar to this by using the back button here. Giving you two octaves of range. Or if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can play this at the same time. The rule of three applies here too, since by switching the MIDI channel, you can switch the sound. Channel one is piano. Whereas channel 2 will play a synth sound. With channel 3 playing a harpsichord. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, then the computer keyboard can be used for the same thing as can the interface on screen. So, with all three instruments being able to play at the same time, all I need are three friends to demonstrate this. Unfortunately, I haven't got any friends. So I'll leave that as an exercise to the reader. There's a link to the software on the site, as well as instructions, and I look forward to seeing some creations soon. Bye for now.